another edition of Varsity Sports here on Educational Channel 15. Saturday, the 27th of September here at Dillboy Stadium. Our first Lady Highlander varsity soccer broadcast of the fall. This is their first home match. Our Lady Highlanders come in with a record of one win and three losses. They play Lowell this afternoon, Lowell High School. Lowell, very similar record. One win for them, three losses and two draw. On the season, our Lady Highlanders dressed in the all white uniforms with the bright pink stockings. Should be an exciting one. Both teams obviously in dire needs of victories this afternoon. Dire need of victories, I should say. And we will see if the Lady Highlanders here can start dictating the pace. Lowell on the attack right now. And their goalkeeper settling things down. Educational Channel 15, proud to bring you Varsity Sports. Mr. Bill Trudell on the camera. My name is Tim Crone, and welcome to this broadcast. Coach Tony Arias trying to fire up his girls. The majority of regular players and starters are seniors. And a lot is expected from them this season. We hope that the girls can kind of break this streak and come out with a victory this afternoon. Lowell in a very tough league themselves. They play uh, a plethora of highly rated Division I teams. Central Catholic on their schedule. They have already lost to them. They tied Bill Ricca. They tied Medford, GBL foe, and chronic Greater Boston League champion Medford High School. Medford High School has won the Greater Boston League for six straight years. So the Lady Highlanders will have their work cut out for them this season. We already know now that this Lowell team can play with them. So the Lady Highlanders need to do something today. You can see number nine at the attack position. Senior Love to Lean Linnaeus. Number seven, we all know Mercy Mercedes. She's their playmaker in the middle, along with number 10, Catherine Marquez. Playing some midfield, number 16, Lisbeth Figueroa. Lowell trying to regroup here. Their goalkeeper will reset things. The Lady Highlanders need to apply pressure on this team. This would be a huge win for the Lady Highlanders. Number four, Miranda Rigo, Captain Miranda Rigo on the ball. She'll win possession. Leaving it for number six, right back, Jennifer Bermudez. Ball played in, Loftalene is there, Mercedes is there, and Mercedes tried to cross the ball, trying to work with Love there. It's a nice hustle here, Loftalene winning the ball. Where's the cross, Love? And I think she held it a little bit too long there, trying to make the move around the Lowell defender. Make that cross, Love. Miranda now, Captain Miranda Rigo again. See if she puts the ball on the ground to Catherine and looks like she'll play it to Jen Bermudez. Lowell now on their heels. This is an opportunity for the Lady Highlanders, the team who scores first in a match like this. Has a huge advantage and the foot and they score. What a cross, 1-0. Lady Highlanders, and I'm trying to get a number on this young lady. Was it Jahan? And we're looking, I believe, number 17, Jahan, with the goal, if I'm not mistaken. 
A beautiful cross and Jahan putting that ball into the goal. 1-0 Lady Highlanders. And Lowell now suffering their first let up goal in the first five minutes of play. The Lady Highlanders with an advantage now. They need to concentrate on what they're supposed to do, play their game. Shannon Higgins, number 11, at the sweeper position. She's in charge of that middle back. She has a huge responsibility in every single match this season. Shannon listed as a junior on the roster. She has to step up this fall and take a leadership role because she is the center back. But a beautiful start here for the Lady Highlanders, 1-0. This would be a quality win for the Lady Highlanders, a real start to their season. This is not what they wanted to happen. And the shot, and oh my goodness, and the save made. Looked like Angela got her fingertips on the ball and the ball just kind of rolled over the goal and what a scare for the Lady Highlanders there. Nice goalkeeping, Angela, nice save. Lowell, however, will have a corner kick and it looks like they'll have two girls coming over to the corner here. Number nine backs off. Number nine for Lowell is Emily Lagrega. The cross coming, Angela there to scoop and she will clear. First touch, Mercedes trying to con control. M Miranda sending the ball forward. Loftelin is there, Loftelin needs to win these balls. And some beautiful hustle by Loftelin. The cross, Love. And looks like we'll have a goal kick for Lowell. Nice effort there, Loftelin. This is where the Lady Highlanders can apply pressure. Lowell has a goal kick. So off of this goal kick here, a Lady Highlander needs to get on the ball immediately. This is how they upset Medford last season, last October. A huge victory for the Lady Highlanders. Every time Medford had a goal kick, you saw a Lady Highlander on the ball immediately, most of the time making that first touch on the ball. It's very important that the Lady Highlanders learn this and remember. Bermudez playing the ball to Shannon and Lowell applying the pressure. And they'll have possession here. The inbounds. Nice defending there, Catherine. The temporary clear. And possession will be on the feet of the Lady Highlanders. And let's see who the official, the Lowell coach there, Chris Cowan believed it should have been a low possession. On the attack now, the shot taken. Nice scoop by Angela and Nett. Angela looking impressive so far. Nice clear. This is Catherine now. Played out to the wing, Miranda. Miranda will send the ball through. Lowell, counter attack, they're onside. And Angela should be the first person to this ball. She'll scoop that and clear. Mercedes now. She'll send that flying. Love to lean is there. Win the race, Love. On the ball. Can she get a shot? She shoots. And a nice effort there. Nice lead pass coming from Mercedes. Nice job 
Numero Siete. Lowell now will clear. Ball played through down the right side. That's a live ball. However, that will skid out of bounds. A little over a half an hour to go in this first half, and the Lady Highlanders have struck first within the first five minutes. A beautiful cross coming to Jahan. She put that right into the goal. Jahan is another one of those seniors, one of those senior leaders. That these girls need to remember now. We're at the end of September. There's a month to go in their, quite possibly in their high school careers. They need to play every match like it's their last one. When Halloween comes around, that's usually the time of their last match of the regular season. It's up to these seniors to try to do something special throughout now and the month of October. And it looks like Lowell is going to have a possession. So an opportunity here for Lowell. Lady Highlanders are going to have to be vigilant. Make sure that all of the girls in the burgundy uniforms are marked well. Again, the Lady Highlanders dressed in all white with the pink stockings. Angela, nice job again of goalkeeping, stepping up taking possession of the ball and clearing. Mercedes now, always dangerous Mercedes. Her and Catherine, they're in charge of beginning the Lady Highlander attack. The attack starts from the midfield. You'll hear Coach Tony throughout the whole match bellowing out instructions. This is Love to Lean now on the offside right there. Lowell will put the ball into play. Ball played through. A lot of eyes watching that ball roll through. And that ball shot wide by Lowell. And it looked like some Lady Highlanders were falling asleep on that. Girls, you have to keep your eyes on the ball, and yet your bodies need to be moving. When a live ball is rolling through and approaching your box, you have to get on it. There's the check-in and the clear. Number 11, Shannon checking in with her goalkeeper. Nice job of defending by Fatima. Number two, Fatima Cortez, another senior. The Lady Highlander is loaded with seniors. This is their year. Girls, I'm, I'm gonna say this again. This is your year. I don't wanna use the term supposed. This is your year. Oh, and a live ball, Angela not able to claim full possession of the ball. And the Lady Highlanders dodging yet another bullet there. That was almost disastrous. And they're lucky to have the goal kick here. That was uh, up for grabs as we have a timeout called. I'm not sure who called the timeout. But it looks like Coach Tony wants to have a talk with his girls. Tony demanding excellence from his girls. And he will give them a little talking to here. <laughs> Mr. Bill Trudell on the camera, braving the elements. The autumn is here for sure. The temperature has dropped. We have a fall breeze out there. Long sleeves are what is needed from here on in, I believe. Coach Tony giving his instructions.
And we'll see if the girls now can regroup. There were almost a couple of disastrous situations where they were lucky to escape without a low score. But in any case, 1-0 Lady Highlanders. This is excellent news. There's about 27 minutes to go here in the first half. Again, MIAA high school soccer is a total of 80 minutes of play, two 40-minute halves. Conditioning is the utmost of importance. Players running about five to six miles a match, maybe more. And we are off and running here. Again, Lowell applying some pressure. Lisbeth to Catherine. Mercedes. This is Miranda. She'll look to restart. And again, Lowell with that pressure as the sweeper, number 11, Shannon. She's on the ball now. Nice defensive work. And Angela, be careful there. Almost gave up the ball to Lowell. Just getting back to Shannon, though, it is her job as the sweeper to win the race for the ball defensively. When the other team is on the attack, Shannon always has to win the race for the ball. And that is without question, without discussion. Jennifer now. She'll put the ball on the ground to Catherine Marquez. Jennifer again, Miranda tried to cross. Feather that through. Is Daisy Pena, the freshman, number 21. First touch on the ball for her this afternoon. And again, Lowell applying this pressure. Nice speed by Fatima. And she'll temporarily clear. This is Ella Sprick getting some playing time on that left side. Angela now will clear. Miranda there. Not sure about this decision. Nice job, girls. Great execution. This is Figs. Lisbeth Figueroa, number 16. Ball played through. Low opportunity here. Fatima's got to get back fast. And it looks like Lowell has won the corner kick. Fatima Cortez there, number two, showing her speed, getting back defensively. Looked like Lowell kind of, the Lowell player kind of blew that opportunity there. As I think she could have made the cross. And we'll see what Lowell has up its sleeve now. On the corner kick, I always talk about the first touch on the ball. First touch, very important here. Cross coming. Ball cleared by Mercy temporarily. And she'll go to work now, Ella. And the pace of this match is really picked up as Pena playing through. Shannon, nice job playing the ball to Angela. Pena clears, this is a live ball. Love to lean is there in that foot race. Nice defensive work by the Lowell defender. And this could be a corner kick for Somerville. And it looks like Lowell will have the goal kick. You can hear Coach Tony. Gabrielle Vieira checking into the match, another senior. 
Lise Beth will take a rest. Ball played to the wing. Highlander possession. This will be left for Jennifer Bermudez, I'm sure. Gabby in the middle. Gabby in the middle. There we go. Get it to her. And Catherine coming out with that, beginning the attack to Love to lean. Opportunity here. Ball played to the right. Nice pass, Love. Mercy was there to receive that pass. Very impressive. One zero Lady Highlanders. Educational Channel 15 on top of this first of the season Lady Highlander home soccer match. Is Mercedes trying to create. Low clearing, foot race for the ball. Catherine now working with Gabrielle. She'll make the move, trying to... Hot pursuit here by Lowell, and they'll force that turnover in the middle, and their attack can be very dangerous. Thankfully, the Lady Highlander left back and center back, they have speed. Again, I refer to Fatima and Shannon. We play on. Lowell trying to squeeze the Lady Highlanders. Pena now. And she will leave the ball for a goal kick. And again, the Lady Highlanders in their own end having trouble. They have the tendency to almost turn the ball over. Some very dangerous situations. And right now, because of that, Lowell has a corner kick. Lady Highlanders thus far have done a wonderful job defending the corner kick in this first half. And again, defending there. Nice job by the Lady Highlanders. Goal kick for Angela. Lowell looking to apply the pressure on the Lady Highlander goal kick. She's going to go to the right side. And the attack is on again. Are they on side? They are. This is dangerous. And forcing that turnover on the goal kick results in a score for Lowell. And the Lady Highlanders have got to tighten up in front of their own goal. That, the way things have been kind of mounting in the last, say, 11, 12 minutes here, Lowell has been forcing their hand in front of their own goal. The Lady Highlanders have got to zip that up. A little bit too careless when they're trying to get the ball out of their own end. We have a 1-1 score, and this is not what the Lady Highlanders wanted. However, there is a corner kick now, and it looks like number 21, the freshman, Daisy Pena, will put the ball into play from the corner. She has a strong leg. She can touch the ball very well, and she is more than capable of planting this ball right in front of the low goal in the box. Ball incoming, the shot taken, and that will kind of dribble wide. Just absolutely devastating in their own end. It looks like Mira Downey has come in playing some left back. So Fatima taking a break. Mira, a sophomore. 
She spent most of last season at the attack position with Love to Lean. And right now, the Lady Highlanders looking to control the real estate here at Dillboy Stadium, trying to pressure Lowell in their own end. We play on with another inbound. Samantha Fillmore, her first touch for the Lady Highlanders. So Tony just trying to put some fresh legs in there with these substitutions. Again, Lowell on the attack here. Mira gets back. Not what we want here. And a live ball off the leg of the Lowell player. And boy, the Lady Highlanders have got to button things up back there. It looks like the center back position is Mercedes. So Shannon Higgins is out. Fatima is out right now. And the offside called so the Lady Highlanders will have possession. I think Coach Tony is having a little chat with his defenders here. They're see, uh, well, we have Fatima Cortez, a senior, and they have got to button things up in their own end. They're getting ready here to check back into the match. Again, I site number 11 Shannon Higgins she's the floor general back there she's the sweeper she's in charge of cleaning up any sort of attack upon their goal here's Samantha now number 19 nice ball here to love to lean can she regain control oh my goodness if she could have maintained her balance we could have had a two to one score there Nice effort, quality attack. And let's give number 19, Samantha Fillmore, some credit there, setting up Love to Lean with a nice lead pass. So the substitutions have been made. It looks like Samantha, well, nope, Samantha's remaining into the match here. Jahan back in, Lisbeth back into the match. We have Catherine back there in the middle. Mira will stay defensively. Mercedes still in charge of the center back for now. And Shannon Higgins, number 11, back into the match. It looks like Tony's moved her a little bit, or at least for the moment. Ball played through. Shannon on the right wing. I actually told Tony the other night to maybe move Shannon up just for a brief interlude just to see if we can kickstart the offense. Thank you for taking my advice, Tony. We'll see how this experiment works out, at least for the moment. Not that I'm taking credit for this. So it's a Lady Highlander possession. We'll see if they can attack the little goal here. What the Lady Highlanders need is consistency. They have the ability to attack an opponent and just look like a quality soccer team. But it seems that sometimes, I don't know if they lose their focus momentarily, if they can clean that up a little bit, they can be a very tough opponent for any team here in the state of Massachusetts. And we saw that again, I cite last October versus Medford, the greater Boston League champions, 
and they pulled off the upset over Medford, left the Medford girls in tears. Medford still went on to win the Greater Boston League, but that one match there was, was evidence that the Lady Highlanders have the capacity to be dangerous against a quality team. And Lowell will have possession, a little physicality there, a high leg. Coach Tony, you'll hear his voice, of course, during the whole match. Very loud voice. Girls enjoy it. Lady Highlanders doing a nice job buttoning things up right now defensively. This is Love to Lean. Live ball again. Can she work with Higgins? The attack is on. Shannon on the right side. A nice job there by number 10 for Lowell. Emma De Silva making that defensive stop out of bounds. However, setting up shop here, the Lady Highlanders. Right side, Catherine and Shannon trying to work together. Inadvertent handball there. Actually, maybe the ball did cross the line. So, an inbounds for Lowell. And Lowell plays that ball forward. Lady Highlanders, again, defensively, are going to have to stay tough. Mercedes back there trying to work with Angela. Angela with the nice scoop. Nice work, girls. Samantha, the header. Lisbeth. This is Jahan on the left side. She scored in the first five minutes for the Lady Highlanders. We're down to about 10 minutes to go in the first half, and we have a lull time out here. And it looks like Coach Cowan would like to have a discussion here with his girls. And Coach Tony, during every timeout, he will let his girls know exactly what he wants them to do in no uncertain terms. I'm not sure if there's a little bit of fatigue on both sides right now, some tired legs. It's been a Pretty high-paced first half. A lot of a lot of sprinting, a lot of back and forth. I believe it's Siamata Melendez, closest to us, uh, doing the ball fetching duties. She's a uh, on the JV and the varsity. She does a little bit of both teams. If I ever last name correct. Very lengthy time out here. And the Lowell coach is just explaining to his girls exactly what he wants done. I don't know if he can kind of sense some momentary weakness defensively on the Somerville side, but for the, for the Lady Highlanders, they have all the potential in the world to aggravate this Lowell team defensively and offensively. Irihata, Irihata, Siamara, Irihata. I'm trying to get her pronunciation correct. I, she was a student at East Somerville Community School. She's a good little athlete. Part of the future for, for Coach Tony's Lady Highlanders. Lowell now after the timeout, playing the ball down the right side. Should be a Lady Highlander possession. And no, it looks like it's a Lowell possession. Now defensively, Mercedes back there. 
barking out commands. Want to protect your own goal here. Shot taken. That was deflected. And they score. And the young lady from Lowell, I'm not sure if that deflected off of Mercedes. I, gee, I wish we had replay that happened so fast, but that was a quality shot. Coach Cowan there calling that timeout. He, I don't know if he saw something, but unfortunately it's two to one Lowell here. And that just really took the wind or the air out of the crowd here. We have nine minutes to go in the first half. Plenty of soccer to be played. We'd like to see the Lady Highlanders kind of step up offensively and try to attack Lowell a little bit more. Ball on the ground. Nice move here. And will that cross the end line? I don't think so. And it should be a goal kick. The uh, Lady Highlanders, I have to say, this extremely fortunate because the attacker for Lowell, number 10, De Silva, that was her ball. And she actually got to the ball before the ball hit the line. And she just kind of let that ball cross there. Here she is again, shot taken. Angela with an easy scoop. But that's a huge mistake for that left winger. The Lady Highlanders benefiting from that. Jahan now will play the ball through. Love to lean. Nice little flicker to Samantha Fillmore. I like the thought there. Nice job, Love. Lisbeth trying to play the give and go with Jahan, not working out. We're down to about seven and a half minutes to go. Educational Channel 15, proud to bring you varsity sports. It was 1-0 Lady Highlanders in the first five minutes with a score from Jahan taking the cross and putting that right into the goal, a very impressive goal. But unfortunately, Lowell is regrouped and they have thrown together some nice attacks and it's two to one here. This match is vital for both teams as I mentioned in the outset. Both of these teams with one win on the season they need this match. Right now the boys varsity soccer team is, is at Lowell. So they're on the road at Lowell and you never know, we could be getting a score update at any time. The boys victorious the other day over Andover Freshman Gustavo Mancia with the goal, checking in at that attack position. And we'll see if the, the boys varsity soccer team can maybe begin a winning streak here. Getting down to about the six minute mark of the first half, two to one Lowell, whistle blown. We have substitutions for both teams. And we just got an update. Lowell in the boys' match is up two to one over our boys. So, coaches Tiago and George are going to have to rev up their young men. Nice attack here. Miranda with the cross. Low there to defend, but the Lady Highlanders looking impressive here. Can they tie this match? They will set up shop. Miranda will perform the inbounds. Pena, Miranda, ball cleared. Jennifer is there, she'll play the ball back in. Opportunity here. Lisbeth, shoot it. Her shot is deflected into the corner. Miranda again, she has, see if she plays the ball back to Jennifer. She does. Jennifer, nice ball. 
Samantha there. Jahan was there. Liesbeth, shoot it. And that ball will sail wide. A nice little attack there for the Lady Highlanders. Good job, girls, but stay consistent. We have a low goal kick, first touch on the ball. This is where you can take advantage, especially in high school girls soccer. You can, you can turn a goal kick into your advantage. First touch on the ball. There's Catherine, nice job there. Samantha, love to lean. Pena, and this is a classic example of what I was just talking about. You take the opponent's goal kick and you turn it into an offensive combination, an offensive attack. And the Lady Highlanders controlling things right now. Jahan, live ball, and Lowell able to clear, but again, taking the opponent's goal kick and turning it into an advantage for you, an attack. The Lady Highlanders again controlling things. Multiple touches here. Nice ball movement, Catherine. Liesbeth, ball played back to Mercedes. Lowell has not touched the ball for a while, finally. Lady Highland is looking impressive here. Lowell might be fatiguing a little bit. They might be a little bit tired. Here's Jen. Ball played through. Mercedes will clear. Nice job, Mercy. No handball. We play on. Lisbeth. Left side, Jahan. Oh my goodness, Jahan, that's your ball. Down to about 2.30 to go here in the first half, give or take. The officials will certainly let us know when halftime is upon us. Lady Highland is trying to score before halftime. Tie this match, I like the pressure they're applying. Catherine now trying to dance a little bit. Lisbeth. Catherine, nice little move. She's so tricky with the ball. Very talented, Catherine Marquez. Four-year player, her senior year now. Coach Tony wanted a handball. And again, the Lady Highlanders, multiple touches, trying to begin that attack. Mercedes tough playing the D, that sweeper position. Angela will come out. Tony wants her to clear it through. He knows there's under two minutes to go before the half. He'd love his girls to mount an attack on the goal, wants them to play quickly. Nice job defensively by Fatima. There's a foul here. And it looks like the Lady Highlanders will have possession. And this is the fire that the Lady Highlanders need. Fatima not taking any guff from the opponent on the attack. They need to play a little bit mean like they did versus Medford last October. Girls and I. I said it, you need to be a little bit mean, resilient, hard-nosed, tough. And that ball is played out of bounds into the forest, wondering how many seconds are left here in the half. Somerville's got to play quickly here. And we'll see. It looks like we're not at halftime yet.
The attack beginning for the Lady Highlanders. And that ball is played out now. I'm just wondering how much time is left here. The official just checked his watch. That ball played out of bounds, and we are at halftime. Lowell two, Somerville one. Action, a disappointing end to the first half. Lowell took the lead. The Highlanders had the 1-0 advantage. They scored within the first five minutes. Excitement was in the air. Hey, we're going to beat this quality team today. They still have a chance to do this. They need to play a hard-nosed second half. And they need to keep their focus and concentration. I, I would say if there's a, if you will, a predominant weakness with the Lady Highlanders is at times they lose their, their concentration in the middle of play. And that results in the other team accepting the turnover and striking on the Lady Highlanders. They need to keep their focus. There are, there is, I will say, 40 minutes to play here. And they need to be focused all 40 minutes. No lapse of judgment or forgetfulness as to what each individual girl's job is. They need to play as a team and they need to be focused for 40 straight minutes starting right now. Lowell plays the ball in. The Lady Highlanders need to come together, start focusing. I still remember that night in October at Medford High School. Actually, it was at Hormel Stadium last October where they just played incredible soccer, the best I've ever seen from this group. Medford, a very good soccer team. And the Lady Highlanders pulled off the upset. They played hard-nosed all the way through. Every time a Medford girl, a Medfield player, touched the ball, there was a Lady Highlander right on top of that person. And it was a real sight to see. What a thrilling night that was. And now these girls predominantly are a group of seniors who pulled off that upset last October. And I'll tell you something, girls, I wanna see that team. That's the team that I wanna see. If you're watching this broadcast, I wanna see that team. This turnover in their own end though, this, this is the kind of thing that has to stop. They were lucky that Lowell blew that opportunity there, but that's another turnover in their own end and they need to stop that. But as I say, that night in October at Hormel Stadium, where is that team, girls? When am I going to see that team again? When, when will the student body, the, your families in the city, see that team again? The team that potentially could qualify for a state tournament and maybe do some damage. Let's see if the Lady Highlanders can begin an attack here. Mercedes there at the center back position. Looks like Coach Tony is going to go with her at that position right now. Number four, Captain Miranda Rigo on that right wing. So on that back line, you have Fatima and Mercedes. Tony moving Jen Bermudez up. And there's a foul there. This is another situation first touch on the ball 
turn this free kick into an attack, into an offensive attack. Get right on the ball. Nice job, Mercedes, defensively. This is Jahan playing the ball through. Love to lean in Samantha up front. The girls from Winter Hill in that attack position. As Fatima again stepping up defensively. The only unfortunate thing for the Lady Highlanders, uh, excuse me, that was Mercedes on the ball. The only unfortunate thing here for the Lady Highlanders, we have Mercedes in the back. She's one of the more skilled players in the team. But unfortunately, she can't do everything, and we need her at both places. So she plays a lot of defense, and then she's moved up to the midfield to create some offense. Now checking into the match here for the Lady Highlanders is number three, Christy Lino. Welcome to the match, Christy. Some fresh legs. Lowell now with the set piece and the Lady Highlanders here. First touch on the ball, turn this into an attack. Ball played nicely down the right side for Lowell. Mercedes now will attempt to clean up shop here. Have possession after the substitution. So Lowell now on the attack in the Lady Highlander end. Girls button up the defense here. Don't lose focus. You can see Christy Lino, as I just mentioned, stepping back to mark her girl. Angela will clear. Love to lean. Daisy Pena playing through. Fata and Mercedes taking care of things in the back line there. Ball played through. Jahan in a foot race. Nice job, Jahan. Great work. Play continues. That's it, number 17. And that's what we need. That sort of effort from every girl on the pitch at all times. Fatima now will begin the attack here from the sideline. Love to lean. A do over. We're about 33 minutes to go in this match, plenty of time. Score is two to one low. Educational Channel 15 bringing you this match. Can the Lady Highlanders do something special today? First they need to attack Lowell, tie the match, and then we can work from there. Looks like an inadvertent handball there on Lowell. Ball cleared. Oh, Mercedes. Control and the foul, the trip. So Lowell will have possession at about 50 yards out. I wonder if she'll cross the ball. Nope, ball played through. Ball played in. Angelo will let that skirt over the line and we'll have a goal kick. Very blustery day out here at Dillboy Stadium. Windy, there's a little chill in the air. 
great autumn weather. Angela now will clean up shop. Little embellishment there in goal, Angela. We continue. Freshman Daisy Pena getting bumped and bruised. No offside here. That's great move, and we tie the match. Love to lean with the goal, two to two. So it looked like Lowell was caught sleeping defensively. A nice lead ball there. And we have a 2-2 soccer match. Wow. And here is where the excitement comes. Can the Lady Highlanders do something special here? A 2-2 soccer match, exactly what we were looking for. Love to lean again, trying to create some magic here. She just scored a moment ago. And now from the corner. Opportunity for the Lady Highlanders to take the lead. This is Daisy. Ball incoming. Lowell defends. The Lowell keeper now. She'll make the catch. And she'll clear. Just under a half an hour to go. The Lady Highlanders have just tied this match on a love to lean goal. Fatima clearing through. Nice job. Both of these teams need the win. I think both coaches here would be disappointed with a draw. Fatima to Catherine. A little flicker via the header. Redo here. We'll see where Fatima goes with the ball. Lowell again defending, and that will be another throw in for the Lady Highlanders. You have to like the pressure. Coach Tony still barking out instructions to his girls. He will not stop speaking for a whole match. He's constantly instructing his girls. Trying to keep them focused. And that will result in a low possession. Now the Lady Highlanders here via the goal kick. They get first touch on the ball. They can turn this into an attack. Looks like one of the coaches over there having a word with the official from the Lowell side. Now first touch on the ball, girls. Again, Somerville in the pink stockings, the all-white uniforms. Lowell and Burgundy. Burgundy maroon. And right now, turn this into an attack. Mercedes back there, very stellar defensively. Pena now working with Christie. 
First touch for Christie, and we have the offside. About 26 and a half minutes to go. have got to attack the low goal again. Need the win. Oh my goodness. Now I believe the referee called a handball, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a situation, low opportunity, we're talking about 25 yards out. Incoming, ball on the ground. And thankfully that was a mistake on Lowell. That was a perfectly touched ball by their player, number 10 Silva, or I should say number 10 to Silva. And not one of the Lowell attackers got on that ball. Again, another bullet dodge for the Lady Highlanders because th that was left open for Lowell to score. And that just would have been devastating. And this is where, this is a coaching moment when Coach Tony and the girls watched that film. That was a live ball for Lowell. They could have easily scored and taken the lead there. And the Lady Highlanders just kind of let that ball slide through untouched, but so didn't Lowell. So it's a mistake on both teams' part in a lot of ways. Fatima now playing the ball through Love to lean. This is where they have to pressure the defender here. Ball played to the right side. Jahan played through. Love to lean is there. Goalkeeper calling for it. She'll make the catch and she'll clear. But still, I, I can't stop perseverating on that live ball a moment ago where the low players just watched it roll right through the goal line without touching it. That would have been an easy goal for them. And the Lady Highlanders not defending that at all, not moving on the ball. Again, a mistake for both teams. Lady Highlanders coming out more fortunate because that could have been a goal against them. Catherine now, nice ball. Jahan. Daisy, she will be a formidable player for the Lady Highlanders, only a freshman. As she grows and learns the game more. Christy Lino, another touch. Roll now on the attack. Mercy, your ball. Oh my goodness. And thankfully, another mistake by the Lowell attacker. Her first name is Princess, Princess Imanaju. And the official not ready with the substitution, so we'll replay the goal kick. Angela trying to play quickly there. Coach Tony again, constant instruction to his girls, constant direction. Because the turnaround was being made last October, I'm gonna keep citing that match, last October, the rebuild for the Lady Highlanders well in motion with that huge upset and that wonderful play by the Lady Highlanders that night. Tony's still trying to work on this turnaround, this rebuild of this Lady Highlander program. Ball played through for low. This is a live ball here. Mercedes getting back nicely er, and doing some 
terrific defensive work there. Lisbeth, Angela, easy catch for her. Lowell kind of shifting the momentum a little bit, trying to apply some pressure. If the Lady Highlanders are in fact feeling the fatigue a little bit, Coach Tony, it might be who's going to call a timeout. We'll see. Here's a live ball for Love to Lean. And she scores! And she scores! Goalkeeper and defender for Lowell not communicating. Love to Lean takes advantage for her second goal of the match. Three to two, Lady Highlanders. Nice job, Love to Lean. Using her speed, sprinting for the ball, uh, performing some heroics in this match. Three to two, Lady Highlanders lead. How exciting is this? Lowell calls a timeout. They want to regroup. They're thinking of themselves, hey, we were up two to one here. How is it that they're able to score two goals and go up three to two on us? But all the momentum now in Lady Highlanders' hands. Love to lean using her speed. Just talked about a turnaround, a rebuild. Can this be the match that jump starts the Lady Highlander season? We have 21 minutes to play, and the Lady Highlanders are going to have to hold on to this lead, and who knows, can you increase it? Coach Tony imploring his girls. You know who has stepped up this afternoon is the freshman, Daisy Pena, playing tough. This might be her coming out party. She's a little young, she's a little green, of course, being a freshman, but she has really been effective at midfield. Samantha Fillmore getting some regular playing time up in that attack position now on the right side. It looks like Shannon Higgins is coming back to that sweeper position. Tony making a couple of changes here. So we're right back to Bermudez. Jennifer Bermudez on the right side. Sweeping the back line again is Shannon. You have on the left at her position Fatima. And working, Nicole, I don't know if you can see the stopper position there in front. Is that, I believe that's Daisy. 21 Daisy Pena. So the formation change, and we will see. Tony wants to put the kibosh on Lowell here in the last 20 minutes. He wants to make sure. So we have Lisbeth Figueroa at midfield with Catherine. Jahan on the left wing, that far right wing, I can't, is that Samantha Fillmore? And then up front, we have at the attack position, we have Mercedes and Love to Lean. Why? Because Tony wants to increase the lead. Put the nail in the coffin. Lowell now on the attack. There is Shannon. Daisy doing a nice job helping out back there. This is going to be extremely tough for Lowell to penetrate this formation. Love to lean again. Opportunity knocking. Mercedes. And a nice bid there by the Lady Highlanders. You have to like this. You have to like the way Coach Tony has now maneuvered his girls at this point in the match. On the attack now is Lowell. Ball played through. Shannon got to make the stop. Or has to make the stop, and she does. Ball played out of bounds, nice work. This is Fatima now. Lady Highland is looking for the victory here, looking for the win. Is Daisy helping out defensively, Fatima there. Daisy again with the touch, Catherine 
getting into the mix. Catherine Marquez, senior number 10, four-year varsity player, captain. If I, had, if I had to make an observation about Catherine here is that I would like to see her with more touches on the ball during a match. She has the skill, increase her touches. I believe that would make the team more effective on the attack. Low player shaken up, looks like she's okay, we'll play on. Is Catherine. Lowell trying to put together an attack themselves. Lady Highlanders in this sort of defensive shell here, doing a nice job. However, we have a live ball on the right side. Cross is coming, Angela there. Oh, my goodness. And she didn't catch it cleanly at first, but then she recovered, thankfully. Mercedes now goes from sweeper to the attack position. She can play virtually any of the positions out there except for goalkeeper, of course. Ball played through. Daisy there. Again, a wonderful match for Daisy Pena. Yep, that was an opportunity. Catherine now. And the attack is on Shannon there to clean up shop. She'll probably drill this out of bounds. Jennifer there. And a nice piece of work between Shannon Higgins and Jennifer Bermudez defensively. And this is Lady Highlander soccer. This is what we've been waiting to see. They're playing very well. Love to lean in the foot race. And after physicality, I don't like the call by the official. Neither does Coach Tony. I thought that was a clean ball by Love to Lean, a clean attack, just because one of the low girls hit the deck. All right, All right, Lowell defender going down by herself, unimpeded by Love to Lean. Terrible call. The attack on again, Mercedes. Shot taken. Keeper making a nice save for low, but an easy save. She'll clear. We're down to about 15, 20 to go in the match. Still a lot of time here. I like what I'm seeing from the Lady Highlanders, however. Defensively, they're very sound right now. Again, they've got to keep their focus, keep concentrating on the job at hand. Low doing a nice job moving the ball right now. And offside, way offside. So a Highlander, Lady Highlander possession will result. Fatima. Lisbeth playing the ball forward nicely. And now low on the attack again. Team's getting a little nervous. Nice job by Daisy there. Uh-oh. Wrong person. The cross has made the shot and the save by Angela. And that was scary. Very scary there, Shannon. Thankfully, Angela there to make the save. He's back now. Catherine. Nice pass here. We're down to about 13.40 to go. Still plenty of time. Substitutions made. Here comes Mira Downey back into the match. Fatima will take a break. Oh, 
Ball played through, Lowell on the attack. And that shot is wide. Lowell player there did not get a good foot on the ball. Angela now will put the ball into play. She has a nice strong leg and she'll play it a little back and forth with Shannon and the clear coming. To me, that's a little dangerous at this point. You have to trust your girls though. Trust your players. And on the right wing, I'm not sure. That looks like Siamata. Siamata getting some playing time. I'm not sure if Miranda is feeling some aches and pains. Tony resting her. And we're down to about 12 minutes left. Lady Highlanders with the lead. Couple of lane, uh, excuse me, lead changes, score changes this afternoon. And Love to lean coming through big time. Beautiful passing. Yes. Here comes the cross. Defended by Mira. Nice job, Mira. Back and forth action. High pace. Good ball, Love to lean. Way to steal, and the attack is on. Siamata. Love to lean. Trying to create Siamata there. The fresh legs of Siamata. She's also wearing jersey number four. Again, she is up and down from the junior varsity. And it looks like Jackie Alois is getting ready to enter this match. Jackie coming in and Love to Lean is going to take a break. So Jackie at the attack position. Very tall, athletic girl, Jackie is. Strong girl, very muscular. And 21, the freshman, Daisy Pena, coming to the ball. It looks like the corner kick has been awarded to the Lady Highlanders. And a cross, a nice cross here with a put in could end this match for all intents and purposes. Ball incoming, nice ball. Goalie's there. And they score. Four to two. And I'm not sure if that was Jackie who put the ball in, but what a cross from Daisy. Daisy, a hero, one of the heroes, I should say, for the Lady Highlanders. I'm not sure who they finally awarded the goal to, whether it was Mercedes was in there, Jackie was in there, looked like Jahan was in there, but Credit Daisy Pena, that's really her goal right there. She put that ball perfectly. And the Lady Highlanders, barring something tragic, will have their second win of the season, but this will be their first quality win of the season. This could turn around their season now, potentially. A coming together, and I cite number 21 again, Daisy Pena kind of this new glue in the mix for the Lady Highlanders. This is huge. Remember, Lowell tied Medford. That means the Lady Highlanders, again, have the potential to beat Medford on Monday. Because that's where they're going on Monday. They're going to Medford. From what I saw on the schedule, it looks like both the boys and the girls will be at the Medford Complex behind Medford High School, playing almost side by side. We have an injury timeout in the field, but four to two Lady Highlanders. Oh, 
So we play on here, and Lowell with an opportunity, down four to two, and Coach Tony has his Lady Highlanders in position for their second victory of the season, but their first quality win. This is a, this is no slouch. This Lowell team, they they are a good team, and the Lady Highlanders up two goals here, with about eight minutes and a little bit of change left. And here comes the attack. Jackie there. Goalkeeper for Lowell. Scooping. And just a huge victory if the Lady Highlanders can hold. Very exciting. And these Lady Highlanders in the second half looking a little bit like they did versus Medford last October. A little hungry. As if they want it. They've cleaned up some of their mistakes in the first half. Very intelligently, that's number six, Jennifer Bermudez, trying to clear that ball out of there to the sideline. Here's Catherine now. The attack will begin. Jackie's there. She's offside. Both Jackie and, and Mercy were offside there. <clears throat> but what a match for the Lady Highlanders. They made some mistakes in the first half. And for the most part, they played that focused soccer that we've been looking for in the second half. And it's been wonderful. Four to two. Three goals scored in the second half. Two of them by Love to Lean. Mercedes trying to create. Lee's Beth. Ball played out about 6.20 to go. Love to lean, checking back in for Jackie. <laughs> Catherine now playing through Mercedes. And that's off the side of the goal. That was close. How exciting is this? Again, barring anything tragic, a possible victory here for the Lady Highlanders. Playing a wonderful second half. And the goal for the Lady Highlanders here for that predominant senior group is to qualify for the state tournament. And with this match, this can turn their season around. This needs to be utilized. <clears throat> Is Gabrielle Vieira? Right now, all Lady Highlanders. Looks like Miranda Rigo back into the match, feeling a little bit better. And a must win for the Lady Highlanders, and they come up big this afternoon. Yep, inadvertent handball, so Lowell will have possession. But that clock is still ticking. Lady Highlanders up by two goals. Incoming, strong kick here. And Daisy Payne is stepping right up with that first touch. And we have offside on Lowell. The offside was already called. Lowell not liking it, but she was offside. Lee 
Lowell coaches not happy. Shannon now will put the ball back into play. About 3.30 to go. And this is hopefully again barring anything tragic. The second win for the Lady Highlanders. Live ball here. Easy scoop for Angela. Love to lean now. Little contact here. Lowell put the ball into play. Three minutes to go, approximately. So this will be two wins for the Lady Highlanders. I'm going to call this match now with under three to go. This will be two wins, three losses. for the Lady Highlanders, their season is anew now. I am thinking that this could be a turnaround for the girls. Girls, especially the seniors, the senior unit, this is your season now. You need to take it. You need to take control of it. You need to grasp onto the season and play these matches now in your senior year. Play everyone like it's your last one because you never know what can happen. You qualify for the tournament. This is a huge opportunity for you to have a great season. And you have to take control now. You've got your win, a quality team in Lowell. You go to Medford on Monday, and you continue where you left off here. Continue. No lapses of judgment, no lack of concentration. Play your game, and you're in. This is your season. A chance for you to do something great. You will be the varsity team at Somerville High School who potentially can qualify for the postseason, the tournament as seniors. You come together. It starts right now. Congratulations on your win today. Yes, I've called this match already. Fatima in control. Nice job, Fatima. Just killing that clock, not letting the low attacker touch. And this is how a quality team looks in full control. Not losing composure defensively sound, knowing how to mark your opponent. We're under two minutes. The Lady Highlanders will improve to two and three, and they're playing arch nemesis and perennial Greater Boston League champion Medford on Monday. A huge match. I, as a representative of this Educational Channel 15 television station, will be there. Girls, this is your season now. What an opportunity you have to do something great. Right now, you come together as a team. You're victorious today. A victorious weekend. It's up to Coach Tony now. They play Medford on Monday. It will behoove Coach Tony to make sure his girls coming off of a weekend are focused on Monday. Potentially, Monday can be the worst time or the worst day of a week to play a good team in season, to play a good team like Medford, because coming off of a weekend, a team can be sluggish, tired from the weekend, from whatever activities they were involved with. They can be unfocused. Girls, it's up to you to stay focused throughout the weekend. Tony will assist you with that. You come into school Monday morning with a focus for Mr. Bill Tridell on, on the camera. My name is Tim Cronin. We will see you next time. Lady Highlanders, victorious today. Girls, take advantage of the opportunity and don't blow it.